All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Self Lost. And we left off in the previous one. We've actually got delivered by the well behind me here uh, to this rainy region. I'm not sure what to expect here, to be honest. This game is a very, very wonderful one, but a very, very strange one as well. So uh, that being said, let us carry on through the journey. And I feel like I'm about to make my way in some sort of a cave. And because of the spider web, I have a feeling this is not good news. I have a feeling I may need to find like some sort of a huge spider or something. I don't like this. I really don't like this at all. Okay, no huge spider just yet. Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. There is gonna be a huge spider. What the heck? Oh my god. No, no, no. I got stuck. I got stuck. Holy smokes. Get out of there. It is so close. I cannot fight it off though. Oh my gosh. What is this? What the heck is this thing? Yeah, I cannot really do anything to it with the light. So this is just gonna be me running, I guess. I wonder if I missed a uh, one of those scrolls at the back there. Oh my gosh. Is this thing this is basically the second boss battle that we're having right now not really a boss battle but more like uh, me running oh gosh uh, lt that was lt i should have pressed lt take it all right never mind i messed up i messed up i was supposed to use lt here so let's try that again and there we go that's what happens when you play way too many games and you switch around from one to the other i always get confused on uh, the controls oh gosh uh, uh, uh come on come on come on come on Okay, that is done. What? Oh, I think I was supposed to give it a dab because there was something blocking the path that I just uh, went through. Yeah. Ooh. What the heck? Okay, that destroyed it. I don't know what, but it just got destroyed. And thankfully, I didn't miss a scroll, so that's good. The Urarindi is a collection of sacred books written by the first Elfers. The texts of uh, Urarandi contain description of numerous magical rituals. At some point in history, the Elfers uh, diverged in their study of the magical described in the sacred texts. Thus, the Ephorian school of sound magic and the school of pattern magic emerged. Most of the books disappeared at the time of the disappearance of the ancient Elfers, along with many other artifacts. Finding a volume or even a page from the Erarindi is a great stroke of luck and an immersed value. Interesting. Can I go through that passage through there? No. I'm... I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I'm not done running away from that creature exactly. Gosh dang it. Hold up. Gotta keep her going, buddy. This is so cool, though. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get away from it. I think we have the ability to kind of, like, boost up. There we go. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, no, 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 I hit the wall, I hit the wall, I hit the wall. Oh, wait, is this another memory? I think it is. A hundred percent is another memory. Oh. 
Oh, look at that. I think me, myself, I've actually been a prisoner. Yeah. I think I'm one of those. We're transported across the Middle Sea. There was a terrible storm. Many caught a fever. I myself held on to the hope that one day I would see Leafa again. But I also heard rumors about what the captivities were doing. Or the captives were doing to um, the prisoners. Mining, constant mining of mining, constant mining of fish oil, nothing else. We're supposed to live and die there, giving our lives for resource. I'm gonna be guessing this is me. It was in the mines where I met Nilo. He was an ancient elf firm. He was almost 700 years old and possessed so much knowledge that it would take 10 years to share it all, I guess, right? We became good friends. Nico knew many ancient rituals, and since I was a healer, he presented me with a gift by teaching me the self loss ritual. This is one of the most sacred Elfer's rites. What the heck is that? Is that a witch? <laughs> that, that is so. Oh my gosh. That is epic. Look at this. This is really cool, actually. What the heck? Uh, by the way she looks, I was uh, expecting her to be evil, to be honest, but anyway. Casimir, eh? Hmm, we have a friend in common. You know who I'm talking about. I had a debt to him, but it was resolved since I saved your miserable life already. If not for me, some mud crabs would be digesting you by now. I know that you are in search of the Orca. I know the place where they live. It's not that far away, but for that, you need to escape the Great Swamps. You help me, and I'll help you get out of this place. See that magic barrier? Elfors cast a spell to constrain Miasma. But you see, Miasma always finds a way to spread. And there is powerful source of Miasma behind the barrier. I need your help to set up the ritual of this spell. Grab these dolls uh, of the hut and place them in places of great faith. There are three churches in the swamps. They will work great. After that, come back to meet me. Hmm. So we'll have to make my way to three um, churches, apparently. Oh my god, look at this! Baba Yaga! That is awesome. Is the camera gonna turn, or...? Nope, that's water. That is definitely water. <laughs> Hold up, I gotta go inside her house first to grab the, uh, the dolls that I gotta place uh, by the churches. So let me check this out first. I think I'm also going to get another scroll inside here that I'm going to read. Ooh, these are the dolls, right? Yeah. Alright, so we got the uh, three dolls. Other than this... Nothing else, it looks like. Yeah, nothing else. Alright, get out of here then. I was actually expecting a scroll that would give me a little bit of knowledge about maybe her house or Baba Yaga herself. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. Chapter 4. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Um, ouch. Oh, what the heck? Is, is the house gonna keep on following me, I wonder? Whoa, what is that? Hold up a minute, I'm gonna need this huge fish, that's for sure. Oh gosh, nope, nope, that's not gonna work. Dang it. Okay, that messed up. Never mind. I'm going to try it again, but that fish is probably going to be the most difficult one to catch. Most difficult I need it for something. 
We have long known that there is no radical means of combating the miasma. The only remedy that slows its spread is the water. Saline water is specifically, specifically effective. What is a gift from the upper ocean? Its, sanctuary, its sanctity protects the fragile souls of this world. But how long will the ocean resist the miasma? How long will the water be a barrier, separating us from the oblivion? You just gotta basically light up the uh, the thingamajig and eventually it's gonna allow me to do that, I think? I don't know. Think. Don't totally understand it, to be honest. Here we go. Okay, okay, we get it there. We're getting there. There we go. A little bit more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And a little bit more again. Hold up. We might actually get it eventually. Hey, we got it. Awesome. This was a giant fish, but we finally got him. Sheesh. Okay. Uh, let me fix the fi uh, the uh, the ship here. Our boat. I'm gonna keep on going. Again, I don't know exactly who's gonna request this fish, but usually there were people that requested these fishes. So, uh, thankfully we got them. Oh, this one looks like a church. Oh, never mind. This is the witch. Oh, I see it. I see it this way. Oh, what the heck is... What is that? What the heck are these? What the... Okay, the game is starting to be more complicated, apparently. Uh, we got... A shell. Okay. Next up, we got a little bit of fishy here that I... Oh, shoot. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think I gotta bring the fishes here, right? No, the white one maybe need to be there. I don't know what I gotta do with these ones. Oh shoot, not this again! No, 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 no. Okay, that one is done. That one should also be done. Okay, perfect. So I'm guessing these ones are gonna go here. Yes, okay. So these, is, these fishes are done. Uh, I see some of them white at the top. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna have to bring those ones to. And also, there's gonna be this one over here. But this one has kind of like a, a well symbol, so do I have to actually bring a well there or what? And at the same time, what is that one doing over there? What the heck? Oh, I think it's fishing. Yeah, it's trying to catch a fish. Uh, this one is showing me a squid. So I'm gonna be guessing the fishes are not gonna go here. Okay, they are. Never mind. Ah, uh, so what they're doing, they're lighting up the fire, and then you can keep on uh, carrying them somewhere else. Okay, so maybe I gotta do the same thing for the well over here as well. Get it? Well? As well? And the answer is no. This does not work. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, what's important is that that fire is not turning off, so that means we're all good. Here 
Wait, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing, fishies? I'm trying to collect them, but, uh... My light is not catching them anymore. Dang it. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to lose them for now. Aha, uh -huh, and I'm seeing the yellow fishies over there as well. Good, good, good. Uh, hold up. First of all... Let me see if this is where I'm gonna have to bring the uh, white fishies. As I got no clue. At the same time... Uh, these fishies I can no longer grab with me, right? They're gonna be stuck here. Yep, these are gonna stay here. Let me go grab the uh, white, uh, the uh, golden ones, I guess. See if I can bring those ones to the well. I don't know. This game has a very unique art style, and the way the game works and everything, it's it's very slow, right? It's a very slow-paced game. But I don't mind it. It's actually quite enjoyable. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, oh, another one. So we got two shells, apparently. So it's white, gold, blue. That's basically the combination. It's kind of like a man doing this, Y, and an arrow up. Okay, saw the combination. What do I do with it, though? Oh, shoot. So we know that the white fishies are that creature. The yellow fishies are gonna be the well. And the blue fishies are gonna be for the arrow up. There we go. We literally had to place them in a specific order. Apparently it all just worked out. What is this guy doing, though? Yeah, I got no clue. I'm guessing he's just collecting the oil, the fish oil. Don't ask me, guys. Don't ask me these type of questions. This game has been very, very strange. But uh, I don't mind it. It's very enjoyable. Very mysterious, uh, very mysterious journey, that's for sure. Huh. So is this going to be the church where I got to have to place one of the uh, puppets? Oh gosh, this one is number three, so I gotta find two more in the other churches, right? When a giant is wounded, the wound gradually heals by turning it to stone. If a giant dies, it completely transforms to stone. To this day, many stone remains of giants can be found in places of great battles. Elfers believe that giants originate when the fat from the prime well uh, seeped deep into the soil of the mountains. According to the legends, this is how the first female giant, Eromala, the mother of the giant, was born. On this stone are inscribed texts of powerful spells with many runes that are unfamiliar to you. The spell Freestone describes the creation of a powerful wave of a magical light, capable of turning to stone anyone the caster thinks of. However, there is a dangerous side effect. The caster themselves will also be turned to stone forever. Another spell called Rift has the power to shatter any stone. However, it is easy to overdo and it's damaged and soil in the area of application, leading to unpredictable consequences. Now my question is, where the heck do I place the statue? Am I not supposed to place it in here? Isn't that what I came here? Because it doesn't feel like it. That's where I came from, right? Yeah, I cannot place it there. Uh, let me just grab 
this, this, and this. I have a feeling we're about to have a boss battle with something here. That's what I'm getting ready for, maybe? I don't know. Huh. What's the point of that? Because I haven't really placed the, um, the toy. Yeah, uh, maybe that's not even the main path that I had to take. Maybe that was just kind of like a side path that I was supposed to take uh, in order to complete the, um, and collect myself the uh, the paper, right? Maybe, I don't know. Because uh, there wasn't anything there that I had to do, so that was strange. Uh, let me see if I can get the fishies with me to follow up. What the heck? Oh, the house. I keep forgetting about that strange, strange Baba Yaga house. Stuck. Can I grab the fishies though? Anyway. Ooh. Never mind. This path is here specifically made for this. Huh. Uh, fish oil is a special substance produced by fish, whales, jellyfish, and other higher beings. Fish oil has many remarkable and beneficial properties. Firstly, it has a positive effect on a well-being when consumed as food. The most well-known application is fish oil coffee. Fish oils also possess magical properties. Ancient elfers were able to enchant uh, or enhance fish oil crystals and make them special ink from the fish oil. So that's why he came to uh, this site. Interesting. Why do I keep on seeing these these fishes here though? Not being connected to their thing. Did I do something wrong? All the other fires are working, so I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Uh, let me make my way to the boat and see if I can now go through that passageway that I that should be basically activated right now. Since I got the fires going. I don't know. It is active, look at that. So these are the ones. Do I have to push them in? Uh, blue. Blue should be. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I know. I think I know. Blue should be with the he both hands down. So blue should be the other one, not this. Hold up. Yeah, blue should be uh, the other one. The one that holds both hands up is gonna be gold. This should be put all the way here. All right, there we go. That's one. White, I'm going to have to pull it all the way to the back there. Hold up, hold up. Push it this way. Pretty interesting mechanics, to be honest. And I love it that there's puzzle making that you gotta do and stuff like that. It's not just about exploration, right? This game also has a lot of puzzles you gotta try to figure out how to solve. At the moment, for example, I was a little bit stuck here until I made my way to this side. And I'm pretty sure that I, if I did not activate those fires, I would have not been uh, getting these crystals. Pretty sure about it. There we go. All right, perfect. This is such a strange region.
But I feel like this is one of the churches, right, that I had to get to. Yeah, it is. So I can uh, place one of those puppets. So strange. I have no business with you, human. If you want my advice, don't go in the village. An unprepared mind won't be able to handle it. Sorry, mate, but uh, I have to. I got no other choice. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, this scene looks so good. This scene here reminds me of that creepy scene that I made in Sneaky Sasquatch as well. <laughs> um, what the heck? Oh, what the? Free these souls from the slumber of God. What? Oh, she's saying free these souls from the slumber of a God. How do I do that? Jesus Christ, this is so sick. So are these the souls that I got a free or? This is really sick. I love the look of this game. It's just so good. Are these the souls? How do I free them though? Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, 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 stay away. Stay away. Apparently, I gotta ride through them without touching them. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, they're coming over. I gotta make sure I'm gonna stop them. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Stop, 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 stop. Sheesh. No, 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 no. Stop. Stay away. Stay away, stay away. I said stay away. Stay away, stay away, stay away. No, no, no. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh man. Stay away. Stop moving. You're just making it tricky. Dang it, dude. This is so tricky. If they touch you like one tiny bit, you're gone. Stop. Alright, we're good, we're good. Whew. That was annoying. Uh, the Cornflower Village. Oh my god, there's so many. Uh, no! Dang it! It is very easy to be touched by the What the heck game? No! No, 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 no. There we go, okay, we're good. Gosh, dang it. Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Stop. 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 <laughs> How do I climb up there? Uh, hello. I guess I cannot climb there then. I gotta climb on top of the house first and from the house maybe. Come on, buddy. Climb up. Climb up. This is so creepy. Uh, please don't fall down. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I see him. I see him. Alright, we got him. We got him. Let's smack him up. Smack him up good, buddy. Hold up. We got this. There we go. Got him. Nice. Can I go through there, though? Uh. Oh, there's a pipe. Hold up. I gotta go through this pipe. Wait, is it? No, I think what I gotta do... I gotta drop down here. Wait, I 
did drop down here. Never mind. I think I gotta go through this side instead. That was very confusing. So many spirits around. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, that guy punched so fast towards me. Cannot go through the bottom there. Uh, so here there's going to be two paths. There's one at the top and there's one to the left here. The one at the top definitely feels like a main one. Well, this one unfortunately is not hiding anything. Oh my gosh, there's so many spirits up there. The body of an unknown god, it was washed ashore by itself, or was it caught by people? I don't know. But the church is like right there. Ooh. We give this flesh to the Great Luno, Lord of the Lake. May your powers bless upon you. Uh, bless upon us, sorry. Alright, see three things that I'm gonna have to activate with the light. Uh, maybe four. Maybe that's how I'm gonna open up the uh, the church here. Uh, Nikolai Zinoviev, may the ocean take your soul. Uh, is the door closed? I cannot go inside, right? Yeah, I cannot go inside. That's true. I'm gonna have to make my way somehow towards those spirits. Although that's gonna be very very annoying. Oh gosh, not again. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. There we go. These things are so... Dang it. These things are so annoying. Hey. Stay away. Better stay away, buddy. All right, finally. What's the point of these vases? Because they're not really dropping anything for me. Oh gosh, uh, okay, never mind. On this side, the water seems to be pretty deep. It's not, never mind. My gosh, there's so many enemies. So many enemies. Oh, what the heck? Get out of there. Go the other way. I need those lights. Ah, oh, thank God. Gosh, dang it, dude. Jesus. Okay, that is done. That is good. Let me leave this here. Cleanse myself up real fast. And now cleanse up this fella. Come on, you're almost done. There we go. That was close. Huh? What? Dang it.
The problem is, I cannot get that light triggered there because it's a little bit too high for me. Uh, so how do you do this then? Very, oh gosh. Very interesting. Yeah, I got no clue how to get that one. I guess I should have probably went... Oh, gosh. I guess I should have probably went the other side, maybe. And this is just the first church, guys. This is just the first church. Are you kidding me, game? It's not making it easy at all. Gosh, dang it. Oh! <laughs> dang it. Oh, man. I don't know why he flinged me off like that in the sky. I absolutely hate these type of bugs. I've uh, actually currently experienced that type of bug in uh, another game that I started playing, and it's just so annoying. Because it, it can actually be game breaking. Alright, let's keep on lighting this up. Let's see what it's going to take me to. Ooh. Ah, okay. So now we can go to the other side. I get it. Okay. So we had to do this one first. No matter what. I will come back for this because this is going to open up a chest. And I'm probably going to be able to get myself another scroll, which is going to be the third one, or actually the second one, because we have the first and the uh, third. Come on, buddy. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay, okay. So I got to leave the light over here. that here we go all right first of all let me trigger this and get myself the chest see what this is gonna do here we go let me go ahead and light up the uh, thingamajig so it takes me to its chest This has been such an enjoyable journey. I love it. Keep it going. Don't stop now. Ah, there was something on the right side. The thing is that door is closed. Ooh, it opened it up for me. Not bad. I was expect I was expecting something else though. Hmm. Yeah, I was expecting a scroll. Find all the runic shores. Oh, never mind. Apparently these are all the runics. Devouring the body of a god, becoming a god is impossible. This is the truth, and those who defile it will be punished. That is uh interesting. Again, as I was saying, I was expecting one of those scrolls, but anyway. I guess that is also a collectible. These uh, runic stones that we keep on finding. Is this how I'm gonna make my way inside the church eventually, I wonder? Maybe from the bottom? It is! Look at that! But I still need to go around. Gosh dang it. Uh, hold on, before I go through them... This one's gonna take me back there, but I don't, I don't really want to fall down there just yet. 
I gotta go through here into the church. Uh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Sorry, 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 sorry. That is a runic stone that I gotta activate. I know, I know, I know, I know. There we go. It's done. So there's the first one. Oh, there's so many, though. Why are there so many? No, these shadows are so annoying. The problem with the light is that it's not properly touching them. Oh my gosh, stop. Got him. Okay, okay, okay. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Stop. Sometimes it's kind of like going through them, right? That's the problem that I'm having. Didn't I get him all? Oh no, there's one more here. There we go. Okay, that was not that difficult that I thought. To be oh gosh. No, no, hold up. I gotta go back. Ugh. We got away. Thank God. Whoa, what the... What is that? What the heck is that? That is so weird. I'm probably gonna have to get to it all the way. I don't even know. But this is very strange. I can I interact with these thingamajigs? Oh, at least I can destroy the spirits, right? Yeah, at least that's a thing. There we go. Oh, shoot. Clear, dispel. False faith. I think what I gotta do... I gotta save these spirits, basically, right? Yeah. Quite a lot of them. Oh gosh, stop touching it. Okay, is this the last one? It is. Thank you, kind human. That was cool. He wasn't as tricky as, as I was expecting. And I think all I gotta do now is just simply place the um, the doll, yeah. There we go, the first one has been added. Awesome. And we are of course gonna have to do this for every single one of the uh, churches. Hey, we got rid of all the spirits actually. There's no more spirits around here to block the path. Can it also open up this door? No. Oh, what the heck? Why, why did it spawn me back? There's no more spirits there. It's gonna, like, knock me back. Yeah, the game is not perfect, right? It does have some uh, very annoying glitches here and there. Hmm. So there were like three of them that I had to activate here, but nothing really happens if you do that. Oh, there's another one. Hold up. Does it do anything? Nope, nothing happens. Okay. There has to be another one of those scrolls somewhere.
Yeah, look at that. They're all gone. Absolutely all gone. I wonder if I'm gonna have to do this for every single one of the churches, or... Uh, if the enemies are gonna be different. I was not expecting to go inside this house. <laughs> uh, hopefully I can get out. Hello? Please. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's a door to the other side, never mind. Oh, but I cannot... There we go. Oh, I cannot get out. What? Never mind. Bugs like this that are a little bit annoying when it comes to the game because the game is very difficult to control, right? The controls of the game are very, very tricky. That's what makes some of the combat and the fighting, if you can say that, that you have to do with the enemies in the game uh, be very tricky. Because other than this, the game is not difficult at all. It's a very, very enjoyable game to play. But the mechanics and how, how tricky it is to control the character, and that's what makes it more complicated. So I guess this was just the, um, the first region, right? The first church. The, second, uh, the next two are going to be in a different location. He's gonna say something now that I've done it. I have no business with you, human. Okay, never mind. He's gonna say the same thing. Yep, so I'm guessing this is now completed, right? There's no reason to do this anymore. I basically placed it all. Just gotta find my next path. We got all these stones, so... I don't need this no more. And I think if I'm not mistaken, this is where I collected that fish. Exactly. And if I return... Oh, look at that! Because if I return to the witch now, you can see that one of the dolls is activating. Yes, because one of those things, the third, uh, the three dolls around her, is kind of like shimmering. So that means it worked. So I gotta find the second two and bring him over. Or not really bring him over, but more like put him on the uh, the churches. I really hope this witch is not tricking me because it definitely feels like it. I mean, she is looking like an evil person. Place my dolls in three churches out there. You can find dolls in my hut if you don't have them already. Interesting. All right, you know, guys, I think this is going to be the end of this episode of Self Loss, and we'll come back in the next one. We're going to try to make our way to the other two churches, try to play the dolls inside, and uh, by the end of it, she's probably going to make like some sort of a magic that's going to get rid of that thingamajig all the way up ahead that's going to let us uh, keep on going towards towards the Orca. But until next time, guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this crazy looking game here, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. It's a very, very strange one, of course, uh, but I'm enjoying it. It's very special, very uh, chill game that you can simply just sit back, relax, and enjoy. But that being said, thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.